And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hard Rocker Esports. I'm Nightfall. 
I'm Frost. Hi, Hi, Frost. How are you today? I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. You ready to watch some Apex Legends? Absolutely. Apex Legends. Once again, we are Octane Collegiate Week 3 Teams J versus K. Um, this is going to be a really good one. I think this is uh, this is definitely one of the most evenly matched up uh, scenarios here. We've got 20 teams. I think all of them are full teams, which we have not seen yet. Usually we're missing one or two. So it'll be very, very interesting looking at how this week three plays out. It's going to be very fun, I think. Hopefully we get some wins. Absolutely. Looking, though, at last week, we don't have a last match recap, but we'll talk about it real quick. Um, pretty good overall. We placed in the top ten, which was good. Yep. We were very happy about that. Um, currently, overall, we are tied for tenth with Northwestern and the Fresno Prowlers. Um, it's really, really close. We'll be playing Fresno Prowlers again this week. Last week, they didn't very, they didn't perform very well. Kind of disappointed to see that. Hoping they do the same thing this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this this week, it's going to be really interesting. Last week, we ran a uh, we ran with Titan instead of Storm as he was gone, but and we had a really good. Really good win with the uh, the yes. Bangalore or the 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 Gibby ult there. Um, at the very, I wish we had we would grab clips it for it. So it was good. so good. I, I was looking back on it. Mm -hmm. Took out five guys. Yep. That was dog. Get him some burgers and fries because <laughs> that was deep. Um, this week though, we're coming back looking at what teams team lineup we currently have. Um, Storm is back. Nathan's playing again, and so is Seedbot. And I believe I talked to them this morning, but I do not know what comp they're going to run Ooh, just so yet. It's going to um, be a complete surprise. Yeah, absolutely. Yesterday, playing with Storm, we ran a lot of Ash and making use of her twin, her uh, the new upgrade she has. She gets two um, two snares, which are really, really destructive, mm -hmm. um, especially for just locking down enemies. So I yeah. wonder if we maybe we see a little bit of that today. Of course, we're going to continue to see some... Uh, we'll, we'll see a lot more Conduit. Conduit's going to stay into play, and then I assume we'll probably have a Bangalore instead of a, a, instead of a Catalyst. Yeah. Um, although we could see a ca some Catalyst gameplay, I think it'll just depend on what... Uh, see decides to run. Yep, probably. Honestly, I'm excited. We get to see some new comps, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. That should be fun. I wish we'd see some more ma some different maps. Yeah, that would be. We're, quite it's not gonna happen. Awesome. It's not gonna happen. As no. much as I want them to put Olympus in, they're not gonna do it. Yeah. What do you mean, ready for this? I'm bit ready for this. <laughs> We've been talking about this. Yeah. Um. Gosh, Coach T not on the ball today. Not anyway, but any attention yep, to us. Nathan H two O, C Bob Dot, uh, Storm <laughs> Cobalt. He's back. Um, Titan once again subbing, and then Ghostly Hems will. Uh, he's not coaching today. Ghostly is off on an adventure. R I P indeed. <laughs> um, looking at our drop zones, though, I do want to point this out here. We um, we're dropping over by. Uh, uh, Chocolate shell today, uh, uh, potentially. Um, <laughs> well, talking to talking to Nathan this morning, yep. he wanted to queue, uh, grab drop spots and then go land on, um, go land on a different uh, a w one of the weaker enemy teams so that they can get some early kills, and potentially may have get other uh, other teams to crash in on on them, causing some more early team fights, which will put them in really good position. Yeah. Um, the name of the game for Hard Rockers today is just purely survival. I mean, that's probably good. <laughs> yeah, especially on World's Edge, which have been relatively um, more challenging, yeah. uh, challenging matches uh, matchups. We typically do pretty well on Storm Point. If we can do really well in these first three, I think we can come out on top. Oh, definitely. Hopefully, we get some wins on this map. It would be nice. I think for I their placements. <laughs> Well, just pl just given how Nathan and Seed played last week, I think we are in a really good position with yes. Storm to get some great, uh, to get some good kills. Um, good kills potential. I think we can walk away with at least one or two wins. Yep. 
as well. Um, some teams to look out for are obviously uh, the Fresno Prowlers and, um, oh gosh, who else? Fr Fresno Prowlers. Oh, ISU, uh, the ISU Academy, very, very good team. The ISU Farmers are one of the premier league players. Oh, okay. Very, very good team. Um, ISU Academy is also very good. S uh, they're easily the best team in this uh, in this J versus K lineup today. So we are it's gonna um, take some thinking to get around it, them. Yeah, we're gonna really have to rely on a second or third team to uh, jump in on mm -hmm. in their fights. Yeah. Um, I'm, Nathan will. Nathan's gonna play it really smart. I know uh, we've been we've been chatting with the ISU guys a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> trying to ri trying to riz them up before yep. the match, but um, well, I uh, I'm really interested to see what's gonna go down. Yeah, hopefully it'll be good matches. Do you have any uh any good pr any predictions for today? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> six and zero. Let's six go. You know, if we went <laughs> six and zero, dude. They do wonders for our positioning right I, now. Ugh. No, I, I think we'll probably go out half and half. Okay. I think I would. I think. I think it's doable. I think we we could easily take off at least two games on Storm Point. Yeah. I think um, we play Storm Point so well, and depending on what comp they choose, I really think they should run an. I think Storm should r seriously run Ash. Um, do do Ash. Um, Bangalore conduit would be really really good yeah well have to see what happens here on a, on world's edge though um i would like to see maybe some catalyst gameplay yeah I honestly think that might be a good pick catalyst can really shut down a lot of the um a lot of the cover that you'll mm -hmm. typically have on world's edge um where um storm points a little more open so it's not yeah. as useful a lot of a lot of buildings to play off of. Maybe we even see some Watson gameplay. Um, I know Seed was maybe tossing around the idea of playing Caustic. Oh yeah, he's gonna um, be one of them. Well, players. I mean, Caustic was so viable last was, uh, last match. Yes. It was weird. They um, a lot of teams were running him. A lot yeah. of teams were running Caustic. <laughs> <laughs> I think sure. we'll take a break yeah. right here. We're gonna get in probably about one of five and then we'll uh queue in as we're landing so um give us 10 and we'll catch you then Oh! 
And welcome to Game One World's Edge here on Hard Rockers Esports. How's it going? It's going great. We do get a Watson, so that's going to be some interesting gameplay. I did notice that too. I was very surprised here. Um, Watson is such a good pick. Um, even after the update, she is super viable, super useful. And I think Hard Rockers are really looking to play um, super passive, mm -hmm. locking down cover, um, and just uh, forcing teams to play to our strengths. Yeah, that's I think that's a good idea. Game. Yeah, you want that. Yeah. <laughs> There's no better, there has been no better <laughs> get, gift to man than the R301. Such a good weapon to use. Oh, Storm Cobalt running the charge rifle and the RE45 charge rifle seriously handling um, very poorly after its massive nerf, to, nerf two seasons ago. Before yeah. it was just annoying, and now it's just impossible to use. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Get that there thing comes out of the there. change. 30 30 running. Such a good map. Such a good loadout. We're going to see a lot of mid range, close range weapons here on the world's edge. We'll get some more sniping later on, on yes. Stone Point. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking for Ooh. Someone got to pick up the Spitfire. My opinion is the best gun in the game. <laughs> We did notice that there are uh, three teams that are did not attend uh, this first match here. How that'll play out is kind of still up in the ropes. Mm -hmm. um, didn't see that there were any enemy teams landing around with us, so we may have both launch site and chocolate shell to to loot up on. Oh, we have been s scan beacon has been activated there. Like we've got some enemy teams over to the ooh disruptor rounds. We gotta see, we gotta see some more alternator gameplay with more disruptor rounds. Yeah, disruptor rounds are gonna be really really destructive now that alternator is out of care package completely. Yeah. There does seem to be a duo in front of them that they're gonna be potentially coming up on I believe that is actually a trio and I think that is where the ISU Academy landed mm, that'll be some interesting yeah. fights yeah ISU Academy landed over by city and big mod okay so we should we're trying to avoid crashing <laughs> into those guys <laughs> um Fresno Prowlers are up there. It looks like we're maybe trying to move up on UVU. There are UVU. some people rotating. Yep. And they do see them. Oh, oh. Hard Rockers getting landed on here by. Oh, maybe you were right. Maybe it is only a duo. Yeah, I was, I was saying. I didn't think I saw another person. But this Watson is going to be able to help. Hard Rockers Hold. locking this down here. ISU looks like, ooh, big hits ooh. there. And Seed bot with a great 30-30 gameplay. They're going to get a free easy kill. Oh, it looks like GB, GBE did land down. Looks like he's maybe going for the revive. Ultimate is thrown out. Yep, revive does come off, but I do not think it's going to work well. Oh, they must have a gold knock. Storm Cobalt coming around the back. Nathan going down. Gets one. Really low. Goes down. Just looking for Seed. And Seed cleans it up. Even for a 2v3, that was a little sketchier than I think Hard Rockers would have liked. They are going to really have to play cautiously as the zone keeps moving in. Luckily, they do have a jump tower to play off of. Mm -hmm. But that is one team down. That was CSDH. 
that went down. So that was the team that Hard Wreckers were hoping to crash in on. And it worked in their favor. Got a long way to go there for zone. About half of it's already been covered. And with these new ring mechanics, I have yet to be taken out. But looks like there are enemies. Nope, that is just our, that's our boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to uh, seeing name tags over our heads, not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have yet, I don't know exactly how long they give you in the ring before they just kill you immediately. I know they changed it to prevent uh, storm, storm camping. camping. Yeah. They don't give you timer, which is, I mean, that's Apex Legends for you. <laughs> but it looks like we are going to, ooh, gold helmet is going to be huge for hard rockers here. I, w I mean, I'd give it to Conduit, but they're going to, oh, and it looks like they're going to grab a gold knock as well. Running Bangalore with the gold knock and Conduit with the gold helmet is probably the best choice but it looks like Nathan is going to run the gold helmet instead not any teams around it looks like hard rocker is going to pick up this evo harvester here maybe get a little closer to that purple level three Oh, team four goes down. Um, I'll be really interesting to see. This final circle is going to be very... Um, having a Watson, if we can get into final circle, I think it's going to really help um, take away a lot of those uh, Bangalore ultimate usage. Yeah. Uh, if Definitely going to help lock down an area. Absolutely. The only thing we want to avoid is obviously a crypto because a ZMP can destroy all of what we set up with a Watson. Yeah, but I don't think I saw any cryptos. I don't think crypto, I think that was more or less a gimmick between one or two squads. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, crypto's abilities obviously have benefited very, very well from the upgrade system, but he's still very um, hard to use. And I think he works best with character w against characters like Catalyst, who just is not being run as much. Yeah. Looks like we are going to take Tunnel, though. Um, with what it seems like no one to our back, it's probably the best call. Not much action happening around this area. <laughs> there, if you heard, there w that did sound like there was a, a bang ult, a bang ult being yeah. dropped here. It looks like two teams are, maybe two or three teams are clashing over off in the distance. Yeah, but we don't get to see it. I know we don't get to see <laughs> it. Um, train yard though looks pretty looted, so more than likely there were enemy squads that came through here. Nathan's going to drop down there and grab that ring console so that they can get a location on where this next ring is going to be at. Mm -hmm. They are moving closer to the big cluster of teams. <laughs> Absolutely they are, but with no, what it, it appears that there are no teams to their back, which is going to really benefit Hard Rockers in yeah. being able to stealthily move up here. Um, looks like we are going to... Nathan going to be just a wee short on level three after that Evo Harvester. Not many 
squads have gone down yet. Staging here definitely looted up a lot. Up oh, and perfect Nathan over at level three here. We're gonna get another upgrade to his abilities. I think he'll choose the ultimate allocated one. And he does. This will give him multiple pylon usage. A lot of action there in, um, in Fragment. Probably streamer building more than likely. <laughs> Nathan, ooh, taking some spotted. shots. See it absolutely laying into that enemy team. I love the R301 G7 loadout. Hard Rockers need to be really careful there. Great play there by Storm giving Nathan those temp shields. They are Hard Rockers be jumping on in team. right on an enemy team. It looks like this is a duo though. Ooh. And a Sheila is in play. Hard Rockers need to be super careful here. Unfortunately, Sheila is definitely not the most accurate girl. <laughs> Ooh, Seedbot does get hit from another team. Oh, and the Watson ult comes out. They're going to defend against any grenades, get them good shield upgrades as well. That is the BU team. Oh, and unfortunately his ultimate does go down. Hard Rockers maybe need to move out of here. Yeah, this is not a great position. They're going to get storm cover. They are going to get smoke cover there. Ultimate coming out. Nathan holding on for dear life here. Ooh, looks like FP Slapdash has a Kraber. Oh, Storm really taking shots that he shouldn't be. Hard Rockers struggling to get into cover. In between the fence. Yeah. Nathan just hanging out here. Hard Rock is really poorly pinned down. Looks like maybe the long. Ah, I think this is probably a poor decision for Hard Rockers here. Yeah. I don't know what Nathan was planning there. BU on top of that tower is really going to make it hard for Hard Rockers to move. Seabot all alone. He's going to have to move as this ring closes in. Bit of a lag drop there. Seatbot is able to get somewhat away from this BU team. Really looking to rat out into top 10. Oh, body falls in front of him. <laughs> I think the knock is going to see him, yeah. Oh, and Seedbot does go down to looks like Snipe Mastery. Just unfortunate positioning from the Hard Rockers there. BU on top of that tower has got to be super annoying for Hard Rockers, especially yeah. with how consistently we're putting shots into the team. Nathan, I'm not sure what he was doing. Maybe he tried to fake. That's but Watson is not a character you want to use to do any sort of faking out. No. Um, 
Hopefully he's not catching stupid random syndrome. <laughs> 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 that would be truly unfortunate. It would indeed there. Um, Storm, though, picked up th through the fence. Yeah. He was getting shot the whole He was way trying through. to pull off a Phoenix kit. Yeah. And then just get picked up. Not really sure what to make of it. I think just maybe a lucky shot. Looks like Stump Ad here. Getting picked up there. Not a very good s spot. BU, though, looks like they're in duo. N which is hard to believe they're playing so consistently without a third. Anger issues did go down, it seems. Oh! BU long ball. Not spotting out there. But he is going to get put down. BU taking some hits here. We're going to see a Horizon Ultimate coming out, try to take away any positioning. Team 7 goes down. Team 18. And Lots team of three. fighting going on here. This is that final ring closure. BU next really trying to pick up Sniper Mastery there, and they do. For a Down duo, these two are squads. really faring well. <laughs> they do get scanned, though. Ty and Ben over to their left. Not sure what they're going to do. Whatever the case is, both these duos about to crash in on each other, which is going to give that trio up top the perfect opportunity to move in. Caustic ultimate coming out. Oh, BU next, next goes down. Yeah. B Longball going for a finish just to get more points on the board as he inevitably goes down to the enemy Caustic. Well, if Caustic could hit his shots, maybe. Both of them just cannot put anything on there. BU Longball made manages to beat out Ben. Oh. I've got to be Almost goes down. Almost goes down to the Bangalore Ultimate indeed. Unfortunately, BU Longball is not going to be able to beat Team 6 of Galaxy Man, Two Strokes, and Xanax. I believe this is the ISU Framer team. You longbow gonna get dropped on. Unfortunate. Ben though, that was so interesting. Yeah. All he had to do was Hit not shoot shot. the thirty thirty at close range. Yeah. And he would have won. The shots. Um, <laughs> Galaxy Man two strokes and Zach's Nation taking this first win. Hard Rockers though, very disappointing. Point pointing first match. Just getting caught out on the rotate really didn't help. Well, it didn't. Also, it didn't help. That sky hook was the uh, <laughs> was where the the final ring closed. Probably not. GG gamers, GG gamers. Um, let's see here, it was a uh, team six, which is is the Maverick Apex, not ISU. Hoping ISU is team one. Oh, well, look at that. We actually put down ISU. Yeah, look the at that. The most us. fearsome team in the, the in the nation got brought down very easily, which is. I mean, they are duo. They are duo so. though, <laughs> and managing to put down two of us was very, uh, very good gameplay. And uh, looks like scores are up. Team 19, the Hard Rockers, currently in ninth place. Two kills on the board, which will help us out a lot. And then as for the rest of the teams there, I think we'll see a pretty, pretty good... Uh, 
niche of groups here, outstanding teams, specifically being Maverick Apex and BU. If Hard Rockers can bring down BU, we'll have some very good opportunities for victory. Yeah. Getting into match two here on World's Edge, Hard Rockers really need to focus on not being stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rotates need the rot to be better. <laughs> the rotates did definitely need to be better. Um, still not sure what Nathan was trying to do when he went down. Yeah, I don't know. If he was playing Mirage, she could have gotten away with that. <sighs> Everyone Everything takes comes back to Mirage. She's just you. the best <laughs> legend in the game. Seedbot once again picking up Bangalore here. Oop! Baja Blast! <laughs> you are my favorite legend. Oh, Storm boy. Cobalt picking up Conduit once again. And Nathan is going to continue running the Watson. I saw a Newcastle on another team and a few other similar comps. So we will not have to worry about a Crypto. Yeah. Hard Rockers, I believe, are going to land early here at Chocolate Shell. Yep. That looks like seaweed. It's a Chocolate Shell, Frost. But the texture It's looks a like Chocolate seaweed. Shell, Frost. <laughs> Why can't it be sushi? Are you vegan? Because that, that, that doesn't look like sushi at all. It did. That's what. That's my. That's what I'm saying. She's never eaten sushi. <laughs> Must I, be vegan. I need sushi. Dude, I love sushi. Wanna go sushi after this? Nah. Damn. <laughs> no hesitation there. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yes. <laughs> Storm Cobalt running the Spitfire. That's just free kills if you ask me. Yeah, but nobody asked you. Yeah, you did. The way you looked at me, it was like asking, Oh, what do you think about this gun, Nightfall? No. <laughs> yeah, don't lie. It's bad for the soul. I think we're going to, we are going to see a lot of switch up in weapons here. But given that we've got pretty much um, chocolate shell to alter ourselves, we're not gonna we're not gonna rush at all. Hard rockers still need to be careful, though. ISU may be looking to get some revenge, and if they can catch two of us out, it will not end well. We are all going to go up to level two. That looks like Nathan is going to once again pick the ultimate upgrade for Watson. Very quiet first match. Second match here. Nobody. It was a very quiet first match. It too, wasn't indeed. So. Starting off, though, with how spread out this uh, with World's Edge is, it's not really pertinent to get into early fights. Well, they help out the KP. It can really put in some bad, uh, bad positioning for other squads. Oh, some oh. lag. Not as bad as last week, the lag. Last, but week, last week was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, looks like ISU picking up Galaxy Man and uh, Bakara. Oh, and ISU putting down a TCU member. Team 18 goes down early. That is not good for their positioning. They were eighth last match. Yeah. Two 
two strokes, the Maverick team putting early shots on CSDU. A little bit of early action here. Potentially see a tie down. Team oh. 17 also going down there. Two strokes bleeding out soccer as ga gaming. That's certainly a name. Soccer a gaming or two mm, strokes? Two strokes. Ah. Wow. It's Apex names. What do you expect? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Coach T. I didn't want to say anything. Ooh, it looks like someone's got to pick up that purple. That purple th spitty. Looks like Storm Cobalt's going to pick up that purple spitty. I love Seabot running the rampage. I don't know. <laughs> Storm Cobalt. Double spitfire. Oh. This that's gonna be interesting. It's honestly devastating. Yeah. Like you you can just take away any possibility of survival if you get caught out. <laughs> now if he was playing ballistic, he could run three spitfires. That would be just devastation. <laughs> Storm Cobalt can get some gold mags for those. He can basically prov never stop shooting. Oop, Team 20 going down. Wow, look at that. Sniper Master Black Sage and Kumai going down super early this time around. Yeah, that's good for us. <laughs> good for us indeed, but also someone must have caught them out. Yeah. I think I mean, it, they might have gotten into a fight with Maverick early, losing one yeah. or two guys. There has been a lot of back and forth, it looks like. so. 14 teams still in. This is similar to what we saw last match. Skull, Noggins, Deathbox just hanging out. Once again... No one around them. I think this is for four hard rockers. This is really going to be probably the best, uh, best thing for them right now. Yeah. So ISU picking up another, another player there. Hard rockers watching the storm, although it does not appear that there is anybody on their behind. No. No, they're all fighting in front of them. Well, uh, we that's we're seeing seeing oh. it from their perspective yeah. though. <laughs> so there could there could possibly True. be there could possibly be teams behind them. Um they are gonna use the uh the mine shaft to move up on a looks like ooh Ty taking down EU destroyer. And going for the finish as well. You destroy our part of. Oh, I've lost Team reason. seven. Team seven. Yeah. Team seven there. Didn't notice any of these other teammates going down. Mm -mm. I really want. I really want to see Maverick and ISU clash here. Hammer point rounds. If anybody's carrying a P2020 or RE45. Hot Rockers moving in from zone. Got a little bit of a ways to go. But with no one to their backs, they can play it very safe. It looks like they're going to use evac. 
probably a smart decision. It depends on where they land. Yeah. Um, I think they're moving in. Looks like Clout was able to take down Jacked Up. And Stump Eye takes down the Christian Leopard, and Clout is able to bring down Stump Eyed. Looks like they are going to set up in this building here. Being right out at the corner zone, it's probably a very good call. Yeah. And Team 8 goes down. Ooh, Mobile Sheila. Been picking down the PR representatives. Really trying to make up for the massive uh, throw that he did last match. <laughs> yeah. How? What? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> my soul hurt, hurt watching that. They do spot this, this team. This is the rotating. Maverick team. Yeah. Hard Rockers need to be cautious not to provoke them into a super big fight. Although, if they could bring them down, it would be great for their positioning. Hard Rockers really poking the bear on that one. Looks like Team 7 may be moving in behind Harder Rockers. As well as Ty and Ben. And Cole. Ty, Ben, and Cole. That's Team 2. Yep. They do see him, so that's good. Potentially trying to get some. Yep. Oh, good another shot there by Nathan H2O, breaking tie, putting oh. in more shots down. Two shields gone for that team. And it does look like the the Maverick team moved out of that, uh, moved out of the building in front of them, so they are going to have good positional advantage against this, uh, this team too. really making use of the wasps and the ability to just lock down buildings. Mm Hard -hmm. Rock has taken a little more damage than we would have liked here. Uh, decides to open up the door the other way. Storm Cobalt really making use of that tactical. Hard Rockers not in good position. Are going to get some shots on. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent dodging skills here. <laughs> it's, you are a sitting duck on these jump towers. Yep. The best you can do is do a little spin spin. Slapdash taking down Funny Dunny with the longbow. And caustic traps. Hard Rock is able to secure another building here. And this will allow Hard Rockers to be a little more comfortable as this final uh, as this ring four begins to close. Team 5 going out. Hard Rockers really need to think about maybe getting some kills. Ooh, and two strokes goes down. To a bow. It That's unfortunate. <laughs> it definitely took more than two strokes of that bow to bring him <laughs> down, though. Oh, yeah. Had to have. 
as annoying as it is, it's not the greatest. Although it looks like the bow user is up top on hard rockers, so they need to be very cautious about sticking their or uh, poking their noses out. Mm -hmm. Looks like the ICU ICU Academy over on the ridge to their left. Hard rockers picked up by the Bloodhound scan. Nathan putting on some damage there, trading it pretty evenly with the bow. See, I shouldn't have said anything about the lag. It's starting to study. I didn't notice. I just, uh, hard ruckers have been landed on. So they're going to drop yes. their ultimate, try to pick up somebody. Though they're going to have to play it very safe here. Oh, it looks like the team, team of Ben Cole and Ty. Nathan taking some serious damage there. Ultimate's coming out, really dealing damage. Although this team, I think, is going to get pushed in on by Team 3. Hard Rockers do have really nice positioning to move around. Looks like we've got a rat there <laughs> over to yep. the left. Team 14 goes down. Team 7 along with them. They do get scanned, the Hard Rockers. We've but these two teams are probably going to fight each other, so... I think that's what hard rockers are intending. Yeah. Team three goes down. Team 13 goes down. And that, ooh, that ultimate coming out is really going to make it hard for hard rockers. Ooh, and Storm Cobalt goes down. Nathan is able to get away. And I think he is going to just let his team get looted up. He is taking tons of damage. Oh, Almost trying to get away, rat. unfortunately, is brought down by Cole. Mm -hmm. Look at this. One lone enemy bloodhound just chilling. I think he got picked up, but I don't know if they would notice. Ooh, ISU has been knocked out. BU, such a good team. Mm -hmm. Really consistent. The solo bloodhound really fighting to stay in the running here. And he is able to sneak away from that enemy team. He keeps getting picked up though. Ty just missing his opportunity. Not even looking at the enemy Bloodhound. It is true what they say that uh, Apex players are just T-Rexes. If you don't move, they can't. They won't spot you. Almost However, manages to make it in. Almost manages indeed, but unfortunately does end up going down. BU team. Looks like they're getting pounced on here. Going to move in with the Horizon Tactical. Getting some good damage on those damn caustic ultimates are really putting a kink in a lot of people's yes. games. Oh, but Longball does, does he manage? manage to get the ultimate okay. off. Okay, I didn't see that. Oh, and they are going to get pounced on there by looks like another enemy team. Anger issues goes down. BYU is BU is out. Mm -hmm. Casewood here. I know he's got that Kraber into play. He's really yes. searching for somebody's head. He's going to eat that grenade. Huge damage there on Ty. Good job by his teammates, though, so, uh, supplying pressure with the shields. Mm -hmm. Although he can't get the revive off, he can still make use of his teammates. This would actually be a really good opportunity for him to just drop his ult as a cover. 
and then heal his teammates. He's going to eat that grenade again. However, with the storm moving in, it looks like it is going to be over for I case wood. Trying to pick up the armor swap there. I case wood holding on for dear life. Oh. Ooh, huge damage there. Uh, I need a little more patience by him. And then we could see some good headshots. He's going to get picked up by zone. And unfortunately, the zone is going to cause too much pressure onto that enemy team. Casewood goes down. Ty, Ben, and Cole, the only ones left. Honestly, I would not be surprised if Ben throws it again. <laughs> Yeah. They have really played into the effect of third parties here, just using the other enemy teams so that they can pick up these pretty much all effectively free kills. Is I don't that a think duo? I don't think they're gonna fare well against this team. No. Beast of the Hunt is gonna come out here. Oh Sheila popping down on top of Great that damage team. coming out. Huge damage coming out. Unfortunately, Azone moved in and the 2v3 situation just did not pan out well no. for that team. Team 2 is able to walk away with a win. As much as I didn't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard watching uh watching Ben throw that r throw that uh first match really badly. But hey, what do you expect from a caustic main? <laughs> <laughs> um, really did notice though that those caustic ultimates are absolutely devastating. Yeah. Um, one of his new upgrades is that he can heal passively while he's sitting at his ultimate. That's stupid. S well, it's it's actually really good for his kit. He's able to kind of play off of it a little better preventing you from preventing enemy teams from pushing in um which is why he's I being guess. used so much i assume i don't like it. i still Stupid think he's rat. awful <laughs> i just think he's awful yeah because uh, any if anybody with a crate will just put you down yeah Although hard rockers though faring a little better, getting caught off by that uh, by by team two. Ooh, and it looks like ISU is gonna finally get their full squad. Um, <laughs> they are about to absolutely massacre the rest of this lobby. Yeah, Sag. I mean, even with two bringing down, I th think two three squads. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be not fun for any of the rest of the teams. Hard Rockers really need to stay away from ISU Academy. Yeah. Make me proud, ISU. I need some revenge on some of these teams. <laughs> <laughs> um Game three starting up higher. I think we are, we're just going to roll right into it. Oh, new scores coming out here. Uh, UHE JV currently on top with 30 points. Maverick Apex at 29. Hard Rockers, though, really poorly dropped into 12th place. Um, although we're not seeing a whole lot of Fresno Prowlers. Oh. Not a team that we anticipated we'd have to worry about. But some of these other teams really are putting hard rockers on the back burner. We need a lot of kills, yeah. a lot of good placement. These next four matches. Storm Cobalt going to run conduit again. We see a Newcastle, a Wraith, and a handful of Blood Flowns. Baja Blast. Pointing it out. No. Picking up Marsh. Ooh. Uh, GBE ash. running yeah. Ash. That's going to be huge. I think Ash is so viable mm -hmm. on this map. And Skimmy's going to run Caustic. They're going to use. Uh, they're going to use a lot of. Um, they're they're going to try to pin down a lot of enemies. Yeah. And.
basically you just use uh, caustic's passive to actively uh, regen health and just play it safe. Hi Rockers, what's a good landing chocolate shell? I don't think I him. saw anyone else landing with them. So. It appeared that ISU was moving into position over by Big Mod. We are going to get a next ring reveal early on, which will be good to our positioning. I think using uh, Watson, Hard Rockers need to make use of these zone consoles a little better and mm -hmm. preparing to position. Uh, I miss the Digi Threat. Digi Threat changed so that I can't be put on SMGs. <laughs> It's a sad day. Really sad day. Although if you get a hammer point RE45, then, uh, I mean, that's pretty good. <sighs> what? What do you mean? I'm not that quiet. What do we have to be louder about? They don't do anything. Oh my God, he <laughs> We're not casting <laughs> League T. <tea>. Yeah. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, Apex is a little boring sometimes. Yeah. That's Especially if we watch them. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely good that Hard Rockers are playing cautiously, though. Yes. Um, as much as I complain, it's good for them. It's good for them indeed. Although I would like to see a little more, like once they get into a fight, I think they need to be more aggressive. Yeah. Um, hard rockers need to trust their uh, their gun their gun fighting abilities a little more because um, there's definitely some fight that that first that that fight in uh, the second second matchup was easily could have gone in their favor if they were just a little more aggressive. Yeah. Not and, and obviously they're not playing super aggressive legends. Watson is very much inclined for locking down buildings, preventing move, preventing enemy teams from moving in on a location. But you've got to be aggressive in getting to those locations before um, you can really lock them down. Using the Bangalore is just kind of common sense in that capacity. And while Conduit is pretty much a, a, a must for any team right now, playing someone like uh, Newcastle or Gibby to really hunker down might benefit Hard Rockers. Yeah. I mean, they did win when they played Gibby they did. last week. So um, I think Gibby's a little more inclined for Storm Point. Yeah. Looks like Hard Rockers, you did get a spot here. Potentially the ISU Academy team rolling in. Oh, and we're going to see a jump tower go out. I don't think it's in Hard Rocker's best interest to push this. Yep, that is the ISU team. They are going to move over to the other side of the POI. Good placement of the Watson ult there. Oh, and it looks like there might be another team yeah, it was fighting the ice, ice you frame or Academy, not Framers. I want to say Framers. <laughs> that's the other, that's the, that's the really good team. Yeah. Because yeah, that was someone else's bang ult, right? Oh, I believe so, because ISU isn't running a Bangalore right now. Yeah. They're running superior legends, <sighs> like Ash and Mirage. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Quit bullying me. I'm not. <laughs> Ooh. Lifeline is a superior legend. <laughs> Lifeline is not in a very good position right now. Yeah. I don't think she's going to be around for a long time. Sag. I know Dante will watch this and say, Lifeline's the best legend. And you're just wrong. What do you mean? I agree. 
Lifeline definitely has some good upgrades with this new skill tree, like the last stand upgrade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there definitely is a fight going on down there. Potential third party but yep. for Oops. Hard Rockers, but... I think if Hard Rockers were... Oh, Team 7 goes down, this would be the perfect opportunity for Hard Rockers to move in. Looks Although like they, they have might? got to be cautious with Caustic and Mirage into play. And if they can get snared, it's pretty much over for them. Yeah. This team is all healed up. Hard Rockers losing their opportunity to actually move in. And so they are going to be caught up on top, waiting to pick. Although it does seem like maybe they are down one guy. Team 5 goes down. Hard Rockers are going to play this. They need to play this now. Storm Cobalt yeah. picking up damage. Oh, they are getting pushed. And Skimmy is going to take massive damage here. Nathan going down. This is not good for Hard Rockers. These, this 2v2 situation is definitely in favor of the ISU team. Although it maybe looks like there is another team moving in. See by good little getaway here. Storm Cobalt does take down Baja Blast. Although Skimmy the only one left here. Oh! And we Hard missed go it. Down. But it looks like... I think we got third party maybe? Gib was able to pick up the remaining hard rocker there. Yep. Skimmy though, getting third partied. Leaves ISU out to dry here. Oh look, your superior uh agent is dead. Yeah, but you know who killed him? No. Hard rockers. Oh. And you know what hard rockers have a really, really good <laughs> job doing? Killing Mirage, killing Mirage. You know because why? of they you. Have a really, really good job killing Mirages. Because of you. Because they scrum against a Mirage. Mm -hmm. I've showed them all the tips and tricks, baby. Uh huh. I would be upset if they lost to a Mirage. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like they need more so um, practice against Caustic. I think what happened there was Hard Rockers definitely tried to want try tried taking the this team on with one legend at a time. Yeah. Oh, looks like Simi is going to get his full team back here as he hit the re the as he hits the respawn beacon. Oh, does get spotted. A little bit of damage there, but that there is an enemy team that's going to move in on one trick Kasai and Swoos. The Northwestern team is really we we really need the Northwestern team to go down here. Yeah. That Northwestern team moving in. Glib taking tons of damage there. Leaving one trick out to dry in the Caustic Gas. Nets, I see you a kill here. Baja Blast bringing down Casewood. And Skimmy is able to clean up, although they are getting absolutely third party here. It is not good for the ISU team. Yeah, they obviously didn't know how to fight a Mirage. Nope. <laughs> oh, and it's the beardless Mirage skin, too. Grody. <laughs> he looks like a... Oh, what's the guy? Kind of looks like a... Futuristic Freddie Mercury without the beard. Oh, ew. Looks like we are going to drop a mobile. We're going to pick up the gib again. Ooh, Disruptor Rounded Alternator and the Havoc. I don't I want him to switch over to the Havoc here so we can see if he's running a alternator or not. Now we're going to see a really good Mirage ability here. Becomes invisible when he revives. That's so stupid. <laughs> what do you mean that's so stupid? That's awesome. <sighs> they also changed it too, so he becomes invisible after he's been revived. 
Okay. I'm telling you, bro. I'm pushing. I'm pushing for this team to take it, man. I, I know you are. ISU has been has such a. They, they're so consistent. Yeah. Um, and I know they these this team scrims against that. Their their premier team, the Framers, who also main Mirage. <laughs> <laughs> from one Mirage main to another. GG gamer. Mm -hmm. Looks like ISU may be getting pushed in by UHGGV. ISU obviously very, very much suffering, not having Skimmy in for those first two matches. Looks like the DPU team Rolling in, Uchi JV holding down a mod. I'm surprised this is a really interesting ring here. <laughs> do it, do it. Oh, do it. You want to do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to shoot that decoy. Ty not going to give away his position because if he does accidentally shoot the decoy, that will alert... ISU to the pre to their presence. I think they already know. They they think they've they, been they know taking pot they, shots. They generally know. Yeah, okay. He will reveal. Yeah. He, Mirage reveals the specific location. Ah. Uh, it's like I said. Stupid agent. No, it's not. <laughs> just he's just. Lifeline is better. I do like the I do like the abilities he's running there. Uh, he gets his ultimate 30 seconds faster, which means he gets it in 30 seconds. And then, additionally, he's running the Bamboozled upgrade, which allows him to recharge his tactical after uh, it's been shot or a, a successful Bamboozled occurs. Mm -hmm. Skimmy taking huge Ooh, damage yeah. there. Not managing to put out as much as he can. The DPU God. Demon team trying to put shots on. BU Nix up there. The BU team struggling right now. Ah, oh, Fresno Prowler's moving in. Ooh, Fresno Prowler's moving in on Sapphire. Caustic Gas going out here. This would be a good time to huck down... Oh, there we go. A Horizon Ultimate has been thrown into play here. This is going to really benefit this team. Ooh, and FP Slap Clash going down. The Fresno Prowlers not playing up to their strengths. Slap Clash is going to pull off a Phoenix Kid here. However, getting moved in by the ISU team. Baja almost going down there. Baja Blast using a really good ultimate there to get his ult, to get his shield back into play. Mm -hmm. But a lot he's of gonna damage. Take the, he's going to try to pull off the Phoenix kit as well. Like I said, T-Rexes. Yep. Oop, Glib taking down Slapdash. Oh. Ooh, down. beautiful ultimate play there, getting around the corner to take down F the FP team. Baja Blast bringing down Team 14. Unfortunately, Gib does go down here. Maybe we see a cheeky Mirage revive. And we are going to see a cheeky Mirage revive in Gadeed. Remember, folks, visibility is key. <laughs> Glib gonna try to get away here, although unfortunately I think he is gonna end up eating that ultimate. Yeah. Baja play fast blast taking massive damage. Skimmy is unfortunately all on his lonesome there. The DU team trying to get pushed in. Unfortunately he does go down there. Baja Blast is able to get away. Oh, and Baja Blast really 
unfortunately does not take down Limbristic. It was very close, though. I think he, he definitely uh, could have. He he his, he did not place his that ultimate very well, and it gave away his location a little too early. Ooh, Limbistick is gonna go down to the storm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Liberty team here getting pushed in on. Bang alt does come down for them. They're kind of surrounded here. Definitely trying to play uh, play off of that. Bangalore ult not working as they're going to get pushed in on by the UBU team. Yeah. A lot of teams clashing here. Five squads left. Final ring has yet to begin closing here. Ty is going to get a little damage on. Which EJV looking like they have a pretty decent loadout here is going to get some good damage on. <sighs> Looked, it appeared that was uh, UVU green. Caustic ult is up and ready here. How are we going to see? BU is still in the running as well. <laughs> as you say that, next goes down. <laughs> oh, and Team 18 yep. going down. Anger issues at the B. The BU team trying to move in to avoid getting cut out by the zone. Looking for UVU. Ultimate comes down. This is where Watson would be really nice. Yeah. Although Anger Issues is going to get oh. picked, tons of damage picked up. Falling into his own or UVU's Rolling Thunder here. BU next getting tons of damage put on. Is caught out by the Dawn. Caustic ultimate coming into play here, just really putting a kink into people's days. Ben is able to pick up Black Sex Sage there, Team 13 out. BU still in the running yet, with three teams remaining. Team 20 One te down. Two teams remaining yep. here. BU long ball, the only one left here. And UHEJV getting the, once again, the least challenging win. Yeah. Just waiting for those third parties. Very good strat. It's a good strat. It's annoying, <laughs> and someone needs to put them in their place. I assume I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. However, though, using those third parties to their advantage and just pulling out at those bad situations here does net UHE JV another win in the books. Um, match three, though. Does not look well for Hard Rockers going into no. Storm Point. They are going to have a very challenging time getting, um, getting back into the running. We can get stats will be updated here shortly. GG Gamers <laughs> stats are updated here. UHE, UHE on top here. Hard Rockers, though, dropping again down to 13th place. ISU, though, from basically the boonies makes it up to position 7 as they yeah. slowly close in on that top spot. They were 17, so... Who knew that having an uh, a third player would help them out this much? <laughs> yeah. No, not. Game four starting up here any second. Hard Rockers hopefully are going to have a better matchup here. <laughs> oh, love it. We can see that currently some of the teams are beefing in chat. Yep. 
So it's uh, it's not going to fare well for this next match here. Storm Point, though, this is where Hard Rockers will shine. Yeah, um, hopefully we get some good gameplay. We do, indeed. This this match is definitely one of the biggest ones that is crucial to Hard Rockers winning. If they can pick up this match, then we're in relatively good position. Baja Blast grabbing a Watson. Storm Cobalt, though, does pick up Conduit again. Seabot, I assume, will pick up Bangalore. Skimmy with a Chibi. That'll be really good. Yeah. There and Nathan's going to run a Gibby as well. And oh. Jib with the Ash. Yep. Oh, Mirage this drown. Nope. F's in the chat. <laughs> probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Yeah, probably a good idea indeed. As much as I would have loved it. are definitely going to try to make use of Gibby's abilities on Storm Point like they did last week. Looks like they will be fighting a contested drop, which potentially could net them some early kills if they play it right. Yeah, that would definitely help them out a lot. Hard Rockers very much suffering currently yeah. from their lack of kills. I think we are going to see a little bit of sniper playment by yes. an H2O here. Perfect. Prowler and Mozambique from Seed Bob. I'm, I love the Prowler very, very much, but it suffers from not having select fire. Its burst fire is just not as good as its full auto fire. <laughs> Storm Cobalt looking for that enemy team that dropped on the other side of this POI. Ooh, early fight there Pff, out of the Fresno State Prowlers. And, oh gosh, where's the Dawn? I guess maybe RM, RM, RMC Apex. And they have indeed found the enemy. Storm Cobalt getting a good pick up there, going for the gross finisher, but he's gonna get picked up by the caustic. L goes oh, for no. it again, Storm <laughs> <one>. Cobalt! <laughs> you spiteful little minx. <laughs> and Hard Rockers picking up Team 4 early. This will be great for their positioning here. Arkansas State does go down, though. Looks like maybe there's... I don't think there's anyone left. I think Hard Rockers got all three of them. There's only two. There was only two? Yeah. No, there was three. It was T They picked up TCU. Oh, okay. Yeah, they picked up TCU, um, which is who we intended to drop on. That's good, then. <laughs> I think maybe they're looking for the third. I, I don't remember. If, I, did, I, don't, I didn't see if they picked up the third or not. I didn't. No, they oh, did. They okay. did, yeah. yeah. Storm Cobalt there with two kills. And it looked like Nathan had one as well. Or uh, Seabot. No, it looks okay. Yeah, so it does look like there is a TCU player still that did get away. See, I told you there was only two. Yeah. Well, there is a third. They do have a <laughs> yeah, third. Yeah, they on do their have team. a third, but they only <laughs> killed two. <laughs> oh, look at that TCU is able to get away here and is going for the revive. Mhm. Mm it appears that Hard Rockers did not finish them. No. Nope. So, well, we'll be seeing them again later. More potential kills. More potential kills indeed. Although I know TCU is going to have a little chip on their shoulder when it comes to this next match. Yeah. Ooh, Hammer Point, Mozambique, Seabot, you demon running that. Up 
This is relatively good loadout though for hard rockers here. Havoc Mozambique on C bod. Quiet oh, quiet noise. Taking down TCU Noggin. And it does not look like TCU is going to escape. Team eighteen is gone. TCU unfortunately does not escape the revive and does end up going down. Mm-hmm. Hard Rockers in really good position now. Two kills on the board. 14th place. They need to play very... I think they need to get a little aggressive here. Maybe pick up two or three more squads. Ooh, it looks like there is... Um. Ooh, Nathan doesn't even notice the enemy team. Um, Although Nathan. I think... Ooh, Nathan notices them now. Yeah. <laughs> I should hope so. Big damage there by that enemy team. As it appears, maybe they'll move in. Bubble comes down. Hard Rockers. Not really sure what to do. Hearing, oh, hearing shots on. They will not follow up the zip lines. Nathan's going to eat that. Storm Cobalt did look like he was pinned. Baja Blast taking down BU next, though. That's one down. <laughs> BU really does need to be put in their place. Oh, we've got a drop again. Ultimate coming down. See about taking Ooh. a ton of damage here. I believe this is only a 2v3, though, so hard ruckers. No. Looks like a 3v3. Nathan Seabot going down, unfortunately, although Hard Rockers do get a trade there. Grenades coming in. Ooh. Quite a bit Big of damage, damage yeah. Is that two strokes? Oh, two strokes does go down. Storm oh, Cobalt the storm is... Looking for something. Nathan really needing help right now. Bombardment coming down. That's what happens when you're a controller player. Oh, <laughs> oh no. and Nathan cannot bring down Galaxy Man. Maverick Apex is able to walk away. So close. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication there by Hard Rockers. Yeah. I think I don't know what exactly Storm Cobalt was trying to do. 360 no scope doesn't work when you can't one shot. <laughs> Definitely not. Hard records though did having a really good advantage. I think maybe needed to play off of it a little more. Yeah. Although Nathan though spotting looked like he had spotted that team up top and didn't even just didn't even register. Yeah. D d that was a little Iffy. Uh, hard rockers are have been really struggling today, and we will. But we will see. Looks like two strokes and gang are able to pick pick them up. Yeah. Instead of that, no real action from any of the rest of the teams here. Looks like BU taking a little bit of storm damage off in the distance. Still wondering if they are down a character. Ooh. And it looks like maybe the Mavericks are going to move in. Moving out of zone here. Now they're going to Pick up the ring console here. Try to get a good location onto where their next play is. Here comes the very exploited health regen upgrade for Caustic. Let's go that way. 
Ooh, ISU Framer. Or two strokes there. Trying to move in on a choke point. That's a good little choke point to hold there in between those mountains. Although I'm hearing a trident. Uh, oh, there's the trident. Yep. The Maverick team here are going to use this trident to move into position potentially. It's loud and really not the best thing to have, but it can get you to a position really quickly. Oh, and it looks oh, like they yeah, are going to Oh, yeah, they're going to run into them. Looks like somebody was way ahead of them with using that choke point to their advantage. And they are going to get tons of damage pounced on. They're going to rotate massively around the map. Good thing they had the trident yeah. to pull this maneuver off. I didn't see what team was sitting on that choke point. But very, very good positioning on their part. They're going to pick up quite a few teams by hanging out there. Bloodhound Tactical comes out. And they have been scanned by, it looks like... Black Sage and his team of UNC GJV. And this is Oh, this is the Liberty the Liberty team. Yeah. Hanging out on a perfect little choke point position. Great plays on their part. They have an interesting comp. What are they running? Oh. <laughs> Valk. Yeah. Oh, well. and there's that $300 heirloom that... <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. I wish I had that kind of money. Right. Ooh, looks like the BU team is going to get rolled... Oh, okay. ...is going to okay. roll around onto this position here, and they are going to get start getting shots fired onto them. BU Nix taking a ton of damage there. It looks like they are going to completely rotate around as they get pushed by a second squad. Looks like the Fresno Prowlers up top on that hill. BU really struggling here. They have desperately trying to hold their position. No kills on the board just yet. This would be terrible for their point positioning. Looks like there's a team behind them too. That's UVU Green over by pylon UVU looks like they are down uh yeah sir 4453 We're going to see continuing, continual hold from that position oh, by Liberty. Nice shot. Looks like a Sentinel shot put into play there. The Don going to hang out, take a ton of storm damage here as he tries to get off this Phoenix kit. But um, they are going to be completely pinned down here. Yeah. Trying to get around the movement. And the Don is going to go down to storm. BU, great positioning on their part, using Storm to their advantage. Yep. Ooh, spotting enemies off in the distance here. This is the ISU team. BU trying to move in on them. ISU picking up the Fresno Prowlers. They have got to be very cautious as this third party is going to come in. BU next, all by his lonesome. Unfortunately, we are going to see Bangalore Old come down. Skimmy is going to eat this really hard. But it looks like the ISU team all healed up and ready to get back into the action. Going to pick up tons of damage on BU next as a third party rolls in. Snares coming out. They do get one. BU next is going to be very, 
on his own, and he gets picked up by Gib. Baja Blast, super low, goes down. But it Gib is spotting so anger issues and goes down to a spider. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is uncanny. Yikes. And Skimmy able to pull his ISU team out from under the grips of those spiders. Imagine that. Their Bringing down an enemy team. team you train all this time and then you go down to a spider. Yeah. Unfortunate. Funny though. Very funny. Clip worthy. <laughs> We'll definitely be holding that one over his head for a while. Oh, yeah. But the ISU team managing to come out on top, putting BU down onto the leaderboard, especially holding what looks like four, I think Skimmy has five kills right now, so nine kills in total. ISU really looking to get back up on top. Yeah. I think they want to take out their uh, the varsity team on the Premier League. Tons of damage out from Baja Blast there. Gibby Bubble coming out. That sucker. Uh, that's the CSUDH Sapphire team. Looks like the Liberty team really playing. Very ratty right now. Nine teams left. Sniper Mastery does go down. Skimmy bringing down Sakura Gaming and Lux World. And Gib is going to melee CSD DH team out of the competition here. Not in the best position here. The DPU Demons team getting pushed by the ISU team. Not able to get the damage on that they would have liked. They have securely locked down this building, though, with the Watson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot Looks of fences. Like skimmy, get, skimmy is broken. Ooh, and they're going to get third partied. Big damage on. Two strokes. Takes down Gib. GB goes down. Skimmy trying to pick up ba Baja Blast, trying to pick up Galaxy Man. I'm gonna drop fences. Ultimate coming out, and he does pick up Zach's Nation. Baja Blast, the only ISU Academy player left. Picks up oh, Zach's Nation. Picks up two strokes before Zach's Nation brings him down. Lots of damage coming out. ISU just playing for kills at this point. Yeah. Does manage to pick up a few. Looks like the DPU Demons team is going to get pushed. Now this is one really, really good final circle. You've got mo tons of layer gameplay, so you can use ults like this to your advantage here. You do have one trick and squad. That is the Northwest Northwestern team throwing up a cat wall. The Catalyst gameplay is very, very powerful. Looking like we've got oh tons of bleed outs here. The, as zone yes. closes, we're gonna see teams three go down. Absolute chaos. Lots of players going down as well. Ooh, a lot of damage going out. One trick taking down Ironic. Yeah. Team 7 goes down. Looks like the Northwestern team is still in play here. <laughs> Finally that, getting Rath. a break after that massive team fight. The Liberty team is still in play, and it looks like there's also a rat. <laughs> that they do spot. Liberty team in really interesting position here. They will have to move up onto towers. Mm 
Looks like that rat belongs to... Oh. The UN, uh, UNCG v, uh, JV team. Yeah. Oh, and unfortunately, Swiss <laughs> does yep. one man him down. And then all that's left is the Liberty team versus the Northwestern team. Yeah. This Northwestern team is definitely going to have an advantage here. They have the high ground. Well, as Obi Wan once said. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're going to push them. The push they're, em. Giving, they're giving up the high ground as That's Sheila horrid. is coming out. This is going to be big for them, but they do manage to catch them down. Yep. Regardless, Ooh. Northwestern with a big win there. Definitely yeah. needed that to move up here. Um, sitting, struggling at eighth place, but now they're going to be on top. ICU framers taking in tons of points via their kills. The UHE JV team nowhere in sight. No, yeah. yeah. They went down pretty early. They did go down pretty early, and it's really going to throw off their gameplay yeah. as well. Hard Rockers as well, getting caught early and not finishing that fight when they needed to is going to in a very bad way. Yep. Game four, really showing Hard Rockers are struggling right now. Yo, that's that spider. <laughs> the spider kill, though. Yeah. Kind of legendary, if you ask me. That think, spider uh, is the MVP. Spider is MVP, indeed. I think before we go to game four here, we're going to send you guys to a quick break so that we can uh, reset some logic and check out some points and see what's going to go down. So, see you soon. nerds mm. <laughs> was it really <laughs> oh well it deserved deserved be you nerds. nerds we do already have a team down team 17 yep, i that's think it the was the bu sports team yeah Cont looked appeared to be contesting with the isu mm -hmm. team isu was able to bring them down 
Um, I th is this the updated? This is the updated scoreboard. Okay. So th so far, this is the updated scoreboard. Hard Rockers not in the top ten. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, ISU though, thirty-five points up on a lot of the other teams here. Liberty making his way through. UH UH uh, UHE, we did not see a lot, or we're seeing a lot of now, but we did not see a lot of last game. Um, yeah. And they have taken down Team Thirteen very early on. Hard Rockers. They do get into Looks a fight like here. they are bringing down TCU Bowling Master. Oh, yikes. The storm goes storm down. Cobalt is going to suffer from a finish. Although Nathan does look like he's going to take out. And Hard Rockers bringing down the TCU team. Nathan, H2O is the kill leader. Hard Wreckers really needing that. Yes. They played very, very well. They were able to turn those. Uh, they were able to stay close as a team and use each other as an advantage. Seabot and Nathan, great plays there. Storm Cobot going down kind of early, but he does. He was able to uh, get, get quite a bit of damage. Quite, quite a bit of damage. Yeah. On that enemy. That enemy here, leaving Hard Rockers in very good position. Um, Needing to play, I think Hard Rockers just need to play more aggressive. Currently, Hard Rockers are sitting on. Um, oh, we claimed Down Beast, but we are not at Down Beast. We are at. Um, Can't even remember this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude! No, don't ask me. Barometer. We're on barometer right now. We can. We went and contested TCU. Um, I think maybe we're gonna try to move in on that Maverick team. Especially now that we have some kills on the point, so we're gonna have advantage when it comes to uh, shield. Baja Blast taking down the Christian Leopard with the L-Star, no less. That's a wild pick. I would like to note that Baja Blast, or not Baja Blast, um, one, one of the ICU team currently playing Revenant. Yeah. Very interesting pick. Very interesting they, pick yeah, indeed. Yeah, because they had Revenant and Ash. And Ash. And then. Running double simulacrums. Yeah. Was it a Watson or? I think it was a Watson again. Yeah. Okay. Baja. So very interesting Skinny team taking comp. down Warden. Teammate go down. Teammate goes down here. See ya. <laughs> I do really. I I see you play so well. They're so aggressive. They yeah. really hard. I'd like hard rockers to practice against ISU. Such they're good guys too. Yeah. Great people. Um. But they're very they're very knowledgeable. They're very aggressive, which is infinitely better right now here as you can see taking kills over placement I, I is better any day right like not nine ki nine kills and getting dropped in like th fifth or sixth place is gonna do infinitely more for you than taking a one fight at the very end and getting first right looks like hard rockers Maybe getting eyes on the Fresno Prowlers here. Although it looks like the Fresno Prowlers and ISU might have clashed a little bit. Hard Rockers are going to avoid that entirely and move out into Jurassic Park. What are these names? These That's names are so stupid. Well, before they updated it, this was where all the Prowlers were, the, the dogs. So oh. we just, it became Jurassic Park. Right. Mm -hmm. Now it's known as Forbidden Zone. Ew. Lame. I prefer Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. <laughs> I prefer Jurassic Park, too. Uh, jacked up there. That looks like that is... Looks like an enemy team dropping there. 
Yeah, they are getting landed are going on. to pounce on top of them. Ooh, some Mirage gameplay. Ooh, Nathan, with a oh. beautiful bubble, is able to save him. Mirage does go down. Good. I would be a little concerned. We're going to go for the revive here. They will have Zhone into the advantage. The Mirage is down, so that's going to benefit Hard Rockers right now. They will not be able to get any cheeky revives off. Ultimate coming out from Storm Cobalt here, trying to get damage on. Trying to take away that movement here. Hard Rockers really need to push down onto this enemy team before they can get onto the jump tower. We are going to see the ultimate going down. Nathan taking a ton of damage there, picked up. Oh, and he's oh. not even looking. Unfortunately Unfortun for him, his team was there to save him. <sighs> that ultimate coming down, and it looks like they were able to pick up. Yes. Team 5. Team 14 also went down there. Hard Rockers picking up good. Sit now, now sitting on 6 kills this is really going to be good for them. Yeah. Um, need to be very cautious there. Some interesting maneuvers there. Storm almost going down after shooting his uh, ultimate. Nathan not really paying attention to the enemy locations. Yeah. And almost got caught out again. Luckily, his teammate Seedbot there was able to help him out. Hard Rockers playing very aggressive this match. I it's good. I love to see this. This yes. is really Hard Rockers benefit very well from just an aggressive play style. Passivity is great and all, but it really helps when you can finish those fight fights very early like Hard Rockers did. That fight did not drag out very long. They were able to pick up one knock and a, a pull out from the enemy team quite early. Yep. Looks like Hard Rockers are going to take an evac to get good positioning into zone. This is a great play by them. Doesn't look like they'll be contested. So this is They are going to drop rotate. another evac here. This is going to be this is going to be a hard rotate, but I think it's going to work out in Hard Rockers' favor there. Team 4 going down. ISU picking up another team. Scammy currently leading the charge with 5 kills. I think Hard Rockers are going to be in relatively decent position here. A little bit of lag drop there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yikes. <laughs> Love to see it. Crunchy, yummy. Crunchy again. Ooh, hard Rockers noticing maybe a little bit of action off in the distance here. Looks like they might. Oh, Ooh. they do see I don't them. Think, I don't think they'd even s registered in Storm's head. <laughs> of course it wouldn't. They didn't move. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bang ult? That is not a bang ult. That's a Gibby ult. G okay. Looks like, ooh, that might be the li that's the Liberty team there. Currently down one guy. I think they looks did see him. Looks like so. Stompe is brought down. Hard Rockers may be looking to move in on, it appears to be the ICU team. All right, Seedbot locating that Liberty team. I think Hard Rockers, in their best interest, should just play this corner here. Um, they've got good cover. There isn't anybody that are backs. And they have good location on two of the three teams in their general vicinity. Nathan calling out to move. Probably a good call here, playing this playing zone edge has really worked in Hard Rocker's favor before. Yeah. I think maybe they're going to try to jump in on this Yeah. maybe fourth party. Okay. Okay. I don't know if this is the best oh. call here. 
Nathan. Nathan really moving up with that trident. <laughs> Nathan? Trying to get, he's just tempting fate. Had to have spotted the ISU team by now. Yeah. He does. He's not going to make a move. I think there was a shot fired off by that enemy team on them. ISU appears to be backing off, though. Oh. Let's see about taking a little bit of damage there from it looks like the demon team. Yeah. One trick and swoos. Northwestern team taking some big damage there. Two strokes is able to drop down Gib. And K Sweet able to drop down Skimmy. ISU really going to be hurting. Two strokes is able to bring down Gib again. <laughs> if he gets him a third time, we'd have to call him three strokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You like that one, Coach T? <laughs> the Nightfall Cringe compilation is going to be vivid this year. Oh, yeah. Hard Rockers, though, in pretty decent position. Nobody to their back. They do have location of one enemy team. Good damage. A little bit of damage there by Nathan. He is going to pull back, though. The Maverick Apex team definitely has advantage right now. Storm Cobalt watching their side. Ooh, looks like that Liberty team was able to get around Hard Rockers and get up top onto um, onto the uh, oh the North the North Pad Tower. I think Hard Rockers really need to play cautiously here. Wait, ooh, Bob last going for the revive on what? his team. What a legend. Yeah, very interesting choice. Can't believe he pulled it off. You know, what, I'm making a new I'm making a new award, right? For uh -huh. each I'm calling it the Mirage Apex Award, <laughs> but it's spelled M R M A R A G E. Okay. Yeah. So the Mirage Apex Award. Yeah. And it's I'm awarding it to anyone who's just a cheeky boy, <laughs> and Baja Blast has won this award. <laughs> yeah. He is playing so risky. And unfortunately, Team One does go down. Yeah, I see. Um, I might have to be revoking <laughs> the Mirage <laughs> Apex Award. We'll see what we'll see what happens in Game Six. Nathan just breaking these rampart walls. Is yeah. that what those are? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's ammunition well spent. Isn't he using the? Charge rifle though. No, that's a that's an L star. Oh. A charge rifle is a sniper. Oh, I'm blind. I wasn't actually looking at the gun. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Team three going down there. That was. Oh, I have no clue. DPU that's demons. The, oh, that's the DPU demons. Yep. Still sitting on this Liberty's team. They have actually they are in a really good position right now. You do not have a whole lot of teams that can move up on them. Yeah. I think Hard Rockers might just should absolutely take the opportunity to take that tunnel. Um the Maverick team really comfortable there, and I think they're gonna pay for it eventually. Definitely. The jacked up taking a ton of damage there is able to get the re the reshield. Not much going on here. I think teams are trying to feel each other out, see the positioning yeah. on where they are. Does look like goons might We're be rotating over. We are gonna see a lot of 
quick, like 10 second fights, yeah. as anything longer is going to cause third parties off the Yang to occur. Damage there by Storm Cobalt. Backing away. Nathan taking some big damage. Biding his time and saving his ult for the right moment. That's the UNCG. That's the UNCG team mm -hmm. over on their left. Oh boy. Okay. I think what they're doing is they're trying to position the Trident for cover. Yeah. Which I think is pretty smart. It's a s it's smart, but it's it's hard Risky. to pull off. Yeah. And you're gonna you're gonna there's a ton of damage that's gonna come onto you. We are gonna drop a bubble here. Team two going down. Oh, I think that this team would be a there is really very... good time to maybe use that Gibby ult. Yeah. On that M18, they are hard rockers are really just trying to keep distance away from some of these enemy teams. The hard rockers are gonna eat this Bangalore ultimate. Team seven goes down. You're gonna see hard rockers Bangalore ult coming out. Human hitting one trick with the Kraber and Hard Rockers are going to make great use of that Gibby ultimate here. Smoking off their backside as they try and pick up the Maverick team. This rock is really going to help Hard Rockers out a lot. However, that Caustic ultimate is really not helping Hard Rockers out. And Team 11 going it down. That was the Northwestern team. Yeah. Bubble coming down. It get, ooh. Oh, that looked like we might have uh, got a grenade kill. Sad we didn't. Excuse me. Hard work Sorry. To eat that grenade. <laughs> Smokes are coming down. Hard Gibby needing his ultimate up here. Storm Cobalt picking up Galaxy Man, though. Two strokes going down. Oh. Nathan, the only one left here. Up on the rock, getting the enemy teams to walk in onto each other. And unfortunately, he does not get that pickup. And Team 20 walks away with that win. Very close there. Almost got the win. I think Hard Rockers ending up in second place yeah. overall there. The this is is this the Liberty team? Team twenty? No, oh UNCG. Yeah. Yep. UNCG. Kind of out of nowhere to be honest. Uh, sitting they were currently sitting in eighth place and we're able to move up there. Great little really good patience on their part yeah. there. Uh, definitely had a lot better uh, shield and positioning yeah so we're gonna see but we will see hard rockers move up there um walking in with i think 12 kills yep and second possibly third place i think they got second because uh nathan managed to push the two teams together i think he did indeed yeah which is g great for hard rockers there yep. they're gonna really benefit from that um and teams like BU going down super early to ISU is going to throw off their gameplay as well. Picking up uh, the Maverick Apex at the end as well was a good uh, good push there. Yeah. And so congratulations to UNCG, though, for their first win of the season. <laughs> That's going to be very good for you. That's going to be very good for their morale. I know they're coming in yeah. with a vengeance this next game. They played a good game. They did play a very good game there. Very, they game five should be positioned so we can refresh and check our stats. Oh, UHE JV currently in first place at 60 kills. Hard Rockers, great, yeah, great match. 
knocks us into top 10. 27 points there tied with the UVU regime. Hard, if Hard Rockers can just do what they did yeah. in five and what they did they do in this final game of the match, then we are going to be – Hard Rockers are going to be in a really, really good position. If ISU – also, addition, I think ISU is going to drop back down on BU and pick up those early kills, which is really going to drop them low. They Let's have go. 39 kills. Do they really? Yeah. <laughs> this ISU, ISU is the best team yeah. in this lobby, and they, all they did was they suffered for their two. Baja Blast, you're a legend. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh yeah, ISU really just struggling, not having vantage. <laughs> what in the world? What are you on, dude? She's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> That's like picking Yumi in league. <laughs> That's like it's like running around as. Diva without the robot. <laughs> As it's baby like the, Diva? This is the worst pick you can make. They nerfed her into the ground. Not to mention her kit's just not viable, period. I'm a little salty. I, yeah, I can tell. I am really salty. That is a terrible pick. I don't know. It might work for no, them. No, it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. She gets out sniped by a Kraber every day of the week. Her ultimate only, I mean, sure, her ultimate's kind of OP, but her tactical just leaves her so vulnerable. Not to mention there's a big old laser that's just like, hey, looky, looky, where am I at? <laughs> but it's okay. ISU is playing Mirage. Well, yeah, just think about that. I'm, okay. Uh, just just uh, think about uh, that. Don't think about uh, it, though. Hard Rockers, you better go bring down that advantage team. Hard Rockers looking to go three for three against this against this team up top here. If Hard Rockers go down early, I'm going to be so sad. <sighs> I'm going to be very disappointed. I think this is a good move by Hard Rockers here going from up behind. Yeah. Or below here. We're going to see Baraka drop down. I think Hard Rockers are going to jump all at once. Oop. Does get the shield. It's going to be broken, and then Storm Cobalt is going to go, not going to go up the other side. Team 2 goes down. Ooh, that's, that's huge. That's the JV, yeah. UHE JV going down super early. Who took him down? UVU Green. Wow, Number 11 taking down UHE yeah. super early. Skimmy bringing down Sniper Meister. And, oh, oh, Team 20 is out. ISU just put the kaput on UVNG. Yeah. This is panning Good out fight. to be a great matchup right yeah. now. You had two top teams just get walked. The two top teams just get walked through. Yep. That's one of them Apex by for you. yeah, one of them by a good team, and the other one by the number eleven. Just good for them. Yeah, I S I S U Academy is going to rocket their way into this first place position oh, yeah. here. Very interesting match here. Looks like. The Hard Rockers decided to not push that team, which I don't know how good of a decision that is. I think Hard Rockers may be pulling back to get a little bit better loot, upgrade their shields a little more. Not really giving up that crucial of positioning. They've got zone. They can play off of it. They've got time. And nobody's nobody's moving in on hard no. rockers right now. So so long as they're cautious, I 
think this will play good into their favor. Um, staying very centered right now is kind of what is, is exactly what hard rockers need to do, and they cannot give up, especially since especially seeing the top two teams go down this early hard rockers really really need to just take a chill pill and get aggressive when it means the most yeah baja has bringing down cs csdh ibiology and taking down all of team 17. Paha Blast, you are going to win this award. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Mirage player. I know. That's good. I know. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, looks like DCU deciding to vacate from their position. Hard Rockers actually might take advantage, or should take advantage, and jump up on... Uh, on that tower. Rockers maybe going to do a little bit of rotating. Let's go over now. I think a big, uh, a very, I think a long rotate is going to benefit Hard Rockers the most. Rethinking our strategy. How about moving there? They re Hard Rockers also very much need to get some kills. Yeah. Currently with UVU Green picking up those uh, that 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 kill on UHE is going to rocket them up into that top ten running. So Hard Rockers need to be cautious, but also probably need to play off of a third party or two. Definitely. So that they can get kills on the board. <laughs> Say we move that way. Cancel that. <laughs> it's all riveting gameplay. Riveting gameplay, indeed. <laughs> It's definitely better than the alternative. Yeah. Does that say whoosh? Whoosh, indeed, yeah. It's the <laughs> grab cannons, man. Yeah. The whooshers. Seedbot typing in Discord there. <laughs> Turning on his hack. That's yep. what he's doing. We're about to see some. Uh, now nah, he's he's turned up. And he's listened to like. Uh, uh, I wonder what he li I wonder what these guys listen to in the game. It'd be a good idea to go there. I like listening to baby metal. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. I complain about and then I complain about Not Apex audio being <laughs> awful. <laughs> when I've got like really loud heavy metal in the background. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely the game's fault. Totally the game's fault. Hot Rockers back on the looting. Oop. Okay. Good spot Good there spin. by Nathan. By Storm. Not a whole lot of damage traded there. Nathan taking a little bit. Stormway is able to get one good shot in. I think it might be in Hard Rockers' best interest to just to not take this fight here. It appeared that there might have been some a team to their back. Nathan's gonna eat that grenade. And eat two grenades. Storm is gonna go down, and we're gonna get a quick revive up. And luckily, hard rockers are going to use everything in their kit to get out of this situation. UVU Green. Ooh. Oh. Hard Rockers. 
totally – Hard Rockers need to just get out of here. Yeah. You got a second team coming in on this team, on these guys. Best thing to do is just let them fight. Very good decision here. Take the whoosh. And go the opposite way they need to go? You go over them. Huh? Yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah. You ju you'd basically just they'd go they'd go over to the other side of uh, Watson Town. It's probably good good call though by Nathan to have his team uh, pull out of there. He's gonna let these two teams fight. It looks like it's the Liberty team, but looks like the Liberty team is going to jump tower away. Yeah. Which is probably a good po call on their part. They did not have very good positioning. I don't think they saw Hard Rockers pull out either. No. Which is good for us. See about having a little bit of dead slide trouble there. there. Looks like Hard Rockers may be spotting. Oh, good damage. Team. And a good third party, it seems like. I think maybe they just caught him off. Oh. Maybe no, no, maybe it was a third party. I think they were maybe third partying that enemy team down there. Oh, and they dropped down hole. Which hard rockers could push down, but they are going to get scanned, which is going to give away their advantage. If they drop down hole, they've got they need to have somebody drop down onto the other sides to cut off the escape. Yeah, Ooh. but this team is oh, <coughs> and what? we are having a little bit of server issues. As usual, yep. well, hard rockers got to be careful. ISU hanging out yep. in bunker. I think they might have been spotting out that enemy team. I think hard rockers are going to decide to not take that fight either. Whether or not that's a good or bad call is kind of up to where the teams have been located and what's kind of occurring. I mean, if we can win game six, we would have won one game each yep. week, which would be awesome. Yeah. I'd be all for that. It was a bit, bit of a uh, shorter rotate, although might get choked out. That choke point does not look very good. Team 11 dropping. That was the Northwestern team. Mm -hmm. Another top three team going down a lot earlier than they should have. Team 7 goes down. Seedbot getting... Wait, what? Three kills. Wait, what? <laughs> Through via the ring. What two happened? St two strokes just got one clipped by Baja. <laughs> what is going on? Hard Rockers spotting the Prowlers here. They just basically entered out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah. I mean, we'll take those three yeah, kills. Yeah, definitely. You know. Seedbot must have been the last oh. person to do any damage on them, mm -hmm. which would, and then they died to the ring, which would account for the kill being accredited to Seed. We'll take it. We'll take it. Got BYU off in the corner here. ISU over to our left. Yeah, this would be a good time to Gibby Bubble. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Almost didn't get it. Almost didn't get it, indeed. <laughs> that is a respawn beacon dropping down. Looks like ISU maybe... No, ISU is playing 
what's called a bait play. Yeah. They're going to try to get hard rockers to assume they're one man short. Nathan dealing big damage to the enemy Ash. Having well, he's got the high ground. Yeah. BU anger the BU team. Ooh! Looks like there was a revive that came out here. Ooh, Nathan taking some unnecessary damage there. That is the U that is the UVU green team. It might be a hard rocker's best interest to push in on the BU team. Neither of them are going to have zone zone advantage here. Well, it does not appear that hard rockers have any evac towers. No. I think they're going to decide to move in on the UVU green team. Gibby Bubbles coming out. And that UVU team evacs. Which is probably in their best interest. Although I think BU is going to pick them up. Evac tower coming down. Hard rockers are going to opt for that play. Nathan's going to take some big damage here. Hard rockers dropping in. Ooh, looks like BU dropped in on TCU. Hard rockers dropping short. Does not realize that BU also pulled out their Baja Blast, bringing down another. Two teams gone. Two teams now. down. Hard Rocker's gonna. Ooh, that's a good usage there. That's a great replicator location. Hard Rocker's getting super lucky on that one. Yeah. Fighting oh. in the trench. This, <laughs> running now, in. <laughs> this is the way to end <coughs> game six. Yep. In the trenches. No less. BU is getting to have a ton of damage put on him. Looks like Hard Rockers are going to try and maybe Rock third party. Well, I think they're going to poke at him from the back. Maybe try to get some kills. Level up a little bit. This would be a really good time to use that Gibbled. Um, yeah. So you, you know how I was talking about the Vantage la Laser? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was it. That was the, the uh, hey, look, everybody, I'm here. Yeah. Five teams remaining. I just want to point out Baja Blast <laughs> right there. Is he? Mm. <laughs> Running in. Delicious. Oh, there he goes. Okay. You got two teams behind Hard Rockers, two in the trenches. Hot Rocker's best interest is to take out these two teams behind them and then move in on the enemies from their back. Yeah. BU is going to make that very hard. We're going to see two ultimates coming down by Hard Rockers. They're going to take put big damage on Baja Blast. They've got UVU behind them. Seabot, good call. They're pulling out. Nathan also going to drop down. Ooh, big damage there by Seed. He gets one. Storm Cobalt goes down. Hits for nine. Now. Oh, and Ooh, Seedbot able to cool. get that pick. That's great. And he's got a mobile. Oh, gosh. But. He's going to get pounced on yeah. by UVU Green, unfortunately. I don't... Oh unfortunately, no. this de the Demon Squad is going to bring yeah. down Seedbot, ending Hard Rocker's game. Very which good means try. it is just ISU versus the Demons. There's that big old Vantage laser again. <laughs> going for the Tempt play again gonna try to get one of these guys to poke their head out skimmy i can't believe you you're a terrible human 
I want to see some Mirage gameplay there. And he gets the pick. Go for the cheeky finish. Baja Blast really just bringing down two there. Let him get the squad. Let him get the squad. And that is it. The ISU Academy <laughs> putting in some good old Mirage Apex. Yep. And picking but we up did a get huge third. win. Third place yeah. there with a hand. Oh my gosh, freaking Freddie Mercury skin. <laughs> it is so bad. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Hard Rock is, <laughs> though, really having a good final matchup. Yeah. Maybe did not play that uh that third party well enough they knew that uvu green team was behind them and um opted to instead push more into on the bu team opposed to the uvu team which more than likely was the cause of them losing out um that uvu team was able to get the drop on hard rockers at the end they're losing two of our guys yeah um Fortunately, though, we were able to pick up, I think, at least six kills, mm -hmm. as well as a top three will put us in great position after the update goes through. Um, 20 kills, 20 kills. ISU, in ISU, I think, is going to be our top guy here. We get five kills. ISU Academy with yep. 80 points. 59, 59 kills <laughs> takes the top spot. UHE JV and UNC GJV are able to hold on to yeah. their one and two positions. Hard Rockers, though, punching their ticket into top 10, 39 points, 18 kills. Those first two games, Hard Rockers are unfortunate. Really, need, really, really struggle on World's Edge. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why. And then losing out early game five on – or game four on Storm Point, not something we typically see. No. Uh, some weirdness going on, maybe a little bit of miscommunication, but something they'll be able to hammer out for next week's tournament. Yep. Um, and that puts a close on to week three of Octane Collegiate. We would encourage everyone watching to subscribe to our Twitch as well as our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube where we upload all of our game day footage. So you can go back, check out some great Mirage Apex <laughs> and get to hang out with me and Dahlia a little more. Um, What else? Let's see. Grubby Games is next week. So two weeks next week. Grubby Games? No. <laughs> not landmines. Just not grubby games. Land, land Potentially. Mines, no, landmines is landmines is the first and second. Yeah, landmines is next weekend. Okay. Um. So, if you're in rapid, I meant landmines. <laughs> yeah. If you're in rapid, come join us. We're gonna be playing 24 hours, 24 hours stream. Um, we'll have Apex tournaments, we'll have Overwatch tournaments, Valor tournaments, we'll have all the tournaments. Mm -hmm. We will, and it'll be a fun, good, good time of, um, of activities. We've got podcast tonight. Tune into that. I hear the, uh, the cast is pretty goaded. <laughs> I don't know yet. I haven't actually, I don't actually <laughs> know who the cast is this week. Um, Rocket League will be Sunday. Rocket League tomorrow. I think Rocket yes. League Sunday as well as League of Legends on Monday. So the next three things to look out for. Shout out to our sponsors, Blue Peak, Live Hospitality, Omnitech, Linktech, Lenovo, Intel, and Under Armour. They do some great work here. Give us a, a lot of money, which allows us to do all this fun, good time jazz. Yeah, allows us to hang out with you guys. Yeah, so punch those notification bells here when we are doing our stuff. And... Enjoy your Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else to say, Frost? <laughs> <laughs>
dream for with a break of a day to fall away to you. Cause at the end of the day, I ain't looking for no reason to change. Cause everything is good for you. Baby, I can see you. We're gonna shout it out to the sky. Tell our secrets to the night.